Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Welcome back to Fish and Dorset Live. Currently we're on a Sunday morning. Um, I think it's probably about 11 o'clock-ish. Can't find my phone. I seem to have the time. But yeah, it's very blowy. It's 11.21 now. Um, we're on neat tides, but the tide's going out. Low water's about 1 o'clock-ish, up as 1. Um, I had a load of bait left from Friday night. As some of you know Friday night absolutely sucked for a lot of us. So I put my bait in the fridge in the garage. So today I bought rag lug. With the storm that came through last night, obviously Storm Aisha, Isla, whatever her name is, is coming through today about 11 o'clock with forecast 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. But I'm out here. I love fishing storms. I produce some of my best fish in those storms. Both rods I've got set up today. I've basically got my Black Rock Renaissance. There she is. Made it up with my Shimano Altegra. And also today we've got the brand new 2024 Black Rock Fusa. Absolutely stunning she is. Nice whippings, a nice purple pearl paint. Today I've got the glass tip in there. This comes with two tips. Um, I've used it for a couple of sessions now. One, one inshore, one on the beach. And it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What I'll do, as soon as I get set up, I've got both rods out. Right rod, got a free hook flapper, rag, and the left one, I've got a free hook pulley rig. So, two fixed hooks like a flapper, and then the bottom one is a pulley. Hopefully the wind noise not too bad, but what I've done is i put rag worm on two hooks, and I've put free lug on the other. I don't normally lose lug for Port Harbour, but this is what I've got left over. Absolutely beautiful rag, and obviously I've kept them really good, putting them in the fridge. And also, got a load of lugworm as well. Absolutely beautiful lugworm. Now I'm praying today, I'm here for a few hours, that with the storm coming in, and the big blow last night, it stirred that water up. That water is beautiful and dirty. So I'm going to get myself sorted out. The other nice thing I've bought, guys, for the van, and obviously I can carry this to the beach, is a hot water tank. You basically fill it up, it's a five litre tank, and you basically squirt your water. Now this is supposed to keep hot water boiling hot all day. So I'm trying that today, that's what I bought myself. Um, my kids give me Christmas money, so I spent a little bit of it getting that water tank which I can obviously carry to the beach and I can obviously lock it into my van but there we go fingers crossed we could get something out if it's a blank it's a blank I'll still put the video out that's the way I am as you all know but I'm out here trying in Storm Aisha Isla whatever you want to call her and we're out let's give this a good go right well I'm sat here I've got both rods out now. What I'll do is I'll basically show you the new black rock. <coughs> now the writing does shine up at night as well, which is really nice. Spigot's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely cracking rod. 
But what I've got on there at the moment, I've put the soft tip on, which is a glass fibre tip, exactly the same as the Black Rock Renaissance. Um, there is a new one coming out for March as well. So the Fusa you cannot get till March. But it's absolutely cracking, absolutely cracking bit of kit. I mean, I've been out a couple of times now and I've tried it. Um, as you all know, if I think something's rubbish, I will tell you guys. Um, but I'm absolutely in love. I know they're not the most expensive, but that Renaissance, the yellow one, I absolutely love them since the day I bought them and I've not really used any of my centuries or nothing since. So what we do is we're going to this Fusa. It's made from 40T high modulus carbon. Um, the Renaissance is made from a 20T carbon. A slightly different profile to give it more power in the midsection, uh, which I've already found out casting leads out. It's a bit hard filming in, trying to show everything at the same time. So, fast recovery whilst maintaining the lightness and super slim diameter as well. Now available with two, two sections. Um, you get a sensitive hybrid top with a compound fibre insert, inserted inside the section and pour through to give a stronger joint. The other, the other section is a carbon tube and a tip for more power, obviously with the stronger currents. Now, like I said earlier, this is made in a very nice deep purple metallic paint, pearl paint which is flawless, and the, and the matching whippings, which really do stand out when you get your tip lights up there at night. Also comes with Fugi Quag Alkanite guides, which are there, they're really nice eyes. And also a Fuji real seat as well. Now these retail at 249. Now I've been using these Obviously in the harbour, and I've used this on the beach Friday night, and I'm pretty impressed. I'm not biased. I've tried it before I even filmed it, guys. I've obviously, I've not put my bells on there for Fish Hunter, because he obviously likes the bells on Reese, so I've left the bells off today to cheer him up. But I'm gonna put it for its paces inside the harbour. Obviously, that storm is coming through now. But there she is, that's a 2024 Fusa. I'll quickly show you the other tip, you'll have to bear with me guys. But you also get a beautiful padded bag as well. For the money, it's beautiful. Right, let me see if I can pull this tip out one-handed. But what you get is you get a second tip. Now this is the carbon tube, the one. Obviously this is a lot stronger tip. So I won't be using that today inside the harbour. Obviously if you've got strong currents, pulling your rods round, you do obviously want a stronger tip. But there we go. There's no buying a secondary rod, you've got the option. So she's three piece, fits in your car lovely. No shutting your boot, snapping your rods. And like I say, that retails at 249 and in my eyes, that's an absolute beast of a rod. <coughs> but as you all know, I'm an amateur angler guy, so you're getting an amateur perspective. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm out trying it. And for the last two sessions, I've been out with this rod. I've been absolutely loving it. She's an absolute beauty. But hopefully we, we can get a fish on her today, which would be nice but that winds up and I'm just about to make myself a cup of tea. So check out Black Rock, Fish Zone. They've got a whole total new range out for March. I can't wait to start testing them all guys, because at the moment I'm really impressed with my original Renaissance, which you all know. And I'm also very impressed with this Fusa, which is a totally different rod to the Renaissance. And, and as a lot of you know, you can't pendulum cast continental rods they will shatter. So that's just a heads up. These are just 
meant for casting out over your head. No pendulum casting. You have been warned. But there we go. Right, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. That wind's picking right up. Hopefully I can show you some fish in this video as well today. Right, let's get to it, guys. Right, let's get this some um, new fuser in. That tide's still running out. Uh, what I've done is I've actually put grip leads on to stop the wind whipping the rods around. So hopefully this will start fishing when that tide turns. But yeah, the sky's gone absolutely awful. It's not good. Oh, we've got a little bit of seaweed. But yeah, the retriever, I mean, the mid-range power of this rod, when you bring it in, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's really good. I've already got a rig baited up, so what I'll do is I'll drop this one off. Clip the other one on. So what I've done again is I put ragworm on two and a couple of lug on the other. But yeah, that wind's really picking up. But as you all know, I fish, I fish majority of weather, so don't really bother me. Um, the only godsend down here is I'm literally by my van. Beautiful. But obviously with the, with the wind ripping, with a normal bomb lead, it's going to be a right pain. I mean, my rigs are just so simple this morning. Size 2 hooks. Free hook flapper. There's a few beanies on there. But what I've got on the very bottom, it's a pulley on the very last hook. I've had this in my tackle box for a while, so I thought I'd give it a go. Right. There you go, you're seeing the fish have been brought in, you see it cast out, I'll obviously take a few more shots later on. But that wind is coming head on. And when I fish Port Harbour, I love that wind being head on. But yeah, that's gusting quite bad now. We're out trying, that's what it's about. And hopefully these new microphones just cut a lot of the wind out. Right, let's get this one baited up. Hopefully when that tide comes back, we can start backing some up. It'd be nice to get some. I mean, the last couple of times on Fishpool Harbour, it's been dead, absolutely dead. Um, I don't know what's going on, whether atmospheric pressures or not sure. But I'm out fishing, guys. I'm out trying. And I'll always show you the content just to show you. Winter fishing is hard for everybody. Right. Let's get this off. Let's get this baited up. Let's get out there, guys. It's all about the trying. I don't really go too much into when I prep baits up. But what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what I'm going to do. I don't use bait needles. What I basically do, just keep an eye on my rods as well. So basically, just gently feed the ragworm right through. All the way around, just bring me bait stop a little bit. Put the bait stop back down. But what I've got on there guys, is a couple of little pop-ups. That is a beautiful bait. Um, I do vary it. I'll put two, three, but these rag are quite big. Um, I don't really like big rag ones from the harbour. I like small ones. Oh, the old wind's getting the camera there. But that's it. Cut the little pop-ups. Gonna stop knotting out in a sequin. Beautifully made up. But like I say, this one, the very bottom hook, is on a pulley. Oh, now I just mangled my rig up. But yeah, basically the, the bottom snood, if you can see, she's on a pulley and the other two hooks are just fixed like a two hook flapper. Right, let's get the other two baited up. 
that one's ready to go out for the next cast. There's no sitting around waiting. It's one in, one out. That's the way I like doing it. It's the best way of doing it for me. Obviously, it takes you a couple of minutes to bait up. In my eyes, it's a bit of a waste of time that you could already have that rod back out where you sat around doing nothing. What I quickly do, just waiting for that tide to swing back. That wind's got right up. But basically, the ground with fishing over is stopped like this. This is only just close to the shore like rocks and seaweed. And as you all know, I don't really like daytime fishing, but I had to come out, get a bit of video on that new black rock fusa. But it's, as soon as you go out further, it's all sand. But it's really nice sand. You get a lot of lug down here. You obviously get ragworm further up as well but it's like a little cove and a little yacht, yacht club there I've left the rods out but normally what you get if you do walk down there you can normally find people have um, snagged up and the old boys Sometimes you get a bit of gear back, sometimes you don't. It's a bit of line on that one. But yeah, this is all beautiful sand, absolutely beautiful sand. And obviously, when you get a big spring tide, you can walk right miles out, absolutely miles out. But like I said, I'm just waiting for that tide to swing back. That wind's going to push that tide really quickly back as well. Obviously you don't get no lobsters down here. <laughs> you get nothing like that. I mean, you can have a look in the rocks, but nothing comes out of there apart from rats. There's loads of rats down here in the rocks. But that wind is absolutely howling. And just hope these radio mics are doing a good job. But there we go. This is the only place I can fish out the wind or I can fish by my van. I do like this spot. It is comfort fishing at its best. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. All Rock City down there. And if you walk far enough, you, probably, you might even find a bit of fishing kit snagged up. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But while I'm waiting for that tide to swing back, I thought I'd just come and show you the ground that we are fishing over. But there we are. But like I say, all the ground ain't like this. It's just close inshore. And obviously as you go out there, it's clear sand. There is a couple little snags out there, but nothing major. And if you do snap a bit of gear on a snag, you come down on next spring tide and you can recover that. But I've got my hat on. I've got my, my wellies on, my thermal wellies. I'm going to give it a good bash. If it's going to happen, it'll happen. But obviously I'm not going to waste bait. That's why I'm out this afternoon. The old wife's gone shopping with my daughter, so why not get a couple of hours in, get a little bit of filming in. And hopefully, maybe get a few fishing. Right, it's going to change your bait. That tide's now just turned. It's just turned now. It'd be nice to get some out, just for the effort of coming out in this weather. And hopefully on that turn of that tide, that wind's going to push that tide on really quick. There's still bait on there, so there's no crabs about. What I'll do is I'll just quickly change this rig over. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm trying the new rod out. And at the moment, it's impressed me very much. 
Let's just clip that rig. I've already got one baited up. It just saves all the time, like I said earlier. But that tide's just turned. That wind's picked up as well. Obviously, when a tide does turn, the wind seems to pick up. So let's get this fresh bait out. Free hook flapper. Absolutely flies out. Beautiful. Got a beautiful bit of action with that soft tip. Absolutely cracking bit of action. But that wind's gusting quite hard now. What I'll do is I'll get this old bit of bait off. I'll get some fresh bait on there. I'm going to go for a few hours. I've got plenty of bait. I'm not short of bait. But the fishing has been really bad lately. Like seriously bad. Don't know why. Don't know if it's a change in weather. I know January normally sucks for fishing. But even a flan of fishing, I've had one good session this year. I've had a couple out in daytime, but nothing major to shout about. Loads of kite surfers out over there. Right, let's get this baited up. Let's hope we can get a nice flan or a bass, guys. Right, just had my first bite. Just making sure the camera didn't go over. That wind is really picked up now, really picked up. I just had my first good bite on my Renaissance, absolutely cracking. Pull round. Look, more of a bass take. Let's pick him up. Let's see if he's on there, guys. Really nice as summits there. Eh? Oh, I can't feel no extra weight there at all. But it was a beautiful bite. It's more of a bass on the fly. Have we got summit on? Summit staying. Oh yeah, so summit staying down. Have we got summit on? No. I picked a load of weed up on the way. I missed that bite, totally missed that bite. But yeah, it's more like a, a bass whipping round. I'll drop that rig off. This is where I save time on me fishing. It's basically like when you're fishing competitions, you're getting one in, one out. But that tide's just turning, so hopefully, in a bit of daylight, this fishing will pick up. But I'm just glad I can still punch a lead out with that wind, because that wind's got up really bad. That's both rods out. First bite, I'm happy with that, guys, just to get a bite. So it shows some it's about. Right, let's get another rig baited up. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully we can pull some out.
I'm just hoping I had the sound on that last clip. I mean, my microphone was off. But here we go, guys. Bit of a little flounder. I'm just going to go and pop it back. But happy days for that. Really happy days for that. Bear with me for a minute. We'll get a nice little thumbnail shot. Let's get a back end, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. There she goes. Right, let's see if we can put a few more out. Wow, this wind's getting up. Yeah, it's certainly getting stronger, a lot stronger. Let's get a fresh bait out on the old Fusa. And a day you dares. We've got no crabs munching about, which is nice. Let's get some more fresh bait. Swap that rig out. I only ever know one angler. There's only one angler down here fishing now. Um, but this is my favourite time to get out when there's a storm. It's been absolutely abysmal fishing lately. We need this storm to do the water, make the water nice and dirty. Beauty, absolute beauty. She's out there. Right. Obviously I'm going straight in the sand and it digs in quite good. Drop the tips down. But they're not waggling about. The tips are not waggling about. There's a little bit of movement, but they're not flippy floppy on either rod, as you can see. And you can see the state of that sea. I've still got quite a bit of bait left. But what a day to come out fishing, literally. It'd be nice to get a fish on the new rod. Obviously the flounder come on the old Renaissance. I've had a few tappings on that, so I can see the bite detection. And obviously a glass tip, it shows up really well. Oh blimey, it's blowy. Uh, it's seriously blowy. But the temperature's not freezing cold, which is good. I'll show you the trees behind me. The trees are absolutely going mental. But that's the conditions I'm fishing in. And you've got to be in it to win it. Right, just had a cracking bite on the food, so absolutely cracking bite. Don't know if it was a flounder or a bass, but yeah, it certainly took off well. Yeah, I think I missed it. Oh, what a shame. That's a real shame. That was a beautiful bite. Have I missed it? Yeah, there's no weight there. Absolutely missed that one. What a shame. Yeah, totally missed that one. That wind is picking right up. Yeah, that was an absolute cracking bite. But that wind, it's howling. And I missed a, a decent fish. I saw it bite and I left it. Right, let's get some fresh bait out there, guys. It's picking up really bad. Let's try again. Let's see if we can get another fish. I've lost a couple of bass already. 
I've just got one sort of bite away there, very gently. But so it's biting there. That weather's really coming in now, as you can see across the harbour. It's rough, guys, really rough. I've lost two bass, both rods, eating both rods I've lost two. Totally slack line me and took off. I'm only using size two hooks. So, I'm still using all my bait up. I'm still here, still fishing away. Hopefully, so that we'll be on that right rod. Like I said, I'm still using lug and I'm still using rag. But the, looks like the bass have been hitting. So we'll soon see. But I'm still going. And hopefully I can get either a nice bass or a nice big thick flounder out of here today. But I persevered. I ain't blanked, which is all good. I've tested the fuser again with a soft tip for a proper five good hour session. And the bass took off on that rod as well. And it was awesome, absolutely awesome watching that tip go. Beautiful action as well. Just hope now, some it's on that right rod. It'd be nice to get one more for I pack out. I'll probably here for another hour or so. But let's see. Guys, let me get the headlight off. Perseverance has paid off today. Look at that. That is an absolute beauty. That's on lag, lug and rag. It's just starting to rain as well. I just put one right away. That is an absolute beast of a bass, guys. And he's going back as well. I don't think you're allowed to keep him now. So let's get sorted. Let's get him back, guys. I am so chuffed to get that. There she is, covered on a bit of soil, but she's going back, guys. I'm just so chuffed to get that for the session. I'm surprised I landed it, to be honest. I did struggle to land it. Step. There he goes. He'll recover. Let him recover for a minute and I'll push him out unless he swims out on his own. Just let him get a bit of water over his gills. And then we'll get him out. He's recovering nicely. Let's get him in a bit of deeper water now. There he is. There he goes. That's made my day, guys. Absolutely made my day. What a beauty. Right, there we go. That's my session. I've been literally blown to spiverines. It's been a cracking session. Um, I've used all the bait, literally all my lug and rag. And I'm just about to pack up. My overall impression of that black rock feaster, guys, I lost a good bass on it. Uh, the problem being is I only bought flounder rigs out, size two hooks. I've lost four bass tonight. Landed one nice one and landed that flounder as well. But overall impressions that rod, I've tried it now, this is the fifth time. It is gorgeous. In my eyes, it does everything I want. So I fish the harbour, I fish the beach, use both tips. It's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The winds pick right up, so I've been fishing in 50, 55 mile an hour winds for the majority of this afternoon. And I've enjoyed it, I've really enjoyed it. Obviously the content will show. I couldn't grab the camera quick enough to get that bass capture. So, but yeah, overall, Black Rock Fusa out in March. For the value for money, it's brilliant. It's absolutely worth every penny. Obviously March I'll get a second one and then obviously I'll start banging out two of those rods in March. Will I buy them? I definitely would buy them. I've got the Renaissance as well. Value for money is out of this world guys. You haven't got to spend the earth to go and buy any rods. 
Obviously, the Renaissance is a lot cheaper. It's still a cracking rod. Hopefully, I get to review the new one as well, which is a twin tip. I'm about worn out. I've got work tomorrow. It's been good. I've enjoyed it. Last couple of sessions I've had sucked. Today, totally made up for it. Even losing four bass, it just cheers you up when you get those fish biting. So, don't forget, guys, I really would like you to hit that like if you enjoyed the video. Also, check out Black Rock, which is Fish Zone as well. You can check their new style of rods for 2024 out in March. I'm going home. I'm Shane. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this session. Bang that like. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much.